everybody. Uh, we're a little bit early this week. We're going to have uh, Mara Klein, who plays Karen in To the New Girl, um, and other updates. Uh, the movie comes out Tuesday. <laughs> so um, you can go pre-order it now through any of the links in our bio, or you can add it to your Amazon watch list now um, if you want to be reminded on Tuesday when it goes live. But yeah, the movie comes out in a couple of days. We're really excited. Um, and also this uh, Thursday next week at 7 p.m. our normal time, we're going to be having a little Instagram live release party. So that should be fun. You're welcome to join. We should have quite a few people from the cast and crew and, um, and it'll be really a good time to chat about the film and you can get on and ask questions. And we're also going to be releasing the winner of our pre-order contest on that Insta Live. So that'll be next week. If you haven't entered the contest yet, that's also at the link in our bio. Um, and, oh, Mara's here. Let me see if I can get her on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. <laughs> Hello. Yay. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. This is my first live. It's a it? it's lot out. of people's. Yeah, how this works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I keep joking that I I've always been terrified of this, but it's like the only way <laughs> to do anything right now. So yeah. Yeah. here we are. <laughs> here we are. It's good to see your face. <laughs> you too. How is everything going? <laughs> um, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, it's, I just say it's getting through the days. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, well, I will just get into questions with you. Um, just first off, if you want to like introduce yourself and talk about what you do and um, how you were involved with the movie, whatever you want to. Sure, uh, I'm Mara, hi guys. Um, and uh, I'm an actress, I live in LA. Uh, and I've actually known Laura for several years um, through mutual friends. We went to the same college. Yeah. We didn't really know each other in college though. We no, were... I had no idea who you were. Um, yeah. I think we were different years. Yeah. We were uh, oh, seven? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. But we um, knew, I think we met through um, like Rachel? Redemption Falls, the, <laughs> the film that no one has ever seen <laughs> from that era. So <laughs> I have never yeah, <laughs> but yeah I knew I knew Laura and then she asked me an audition and that was that was how I got involved in New Girl yeah it's actually funny too because originally I was going to be in it and I was going to play your role and it's so funny <laughs> that like every time I watch it I'm like so glad that you did it I'm, you're so perfect for it and it's like Aww. such a like tight snappy monologue and I just love it and I'm like oh it's like one of the best I ever made for myself. As you a were producing it, so you had a lot on your plate. No, there was no way. It just wouldn't have happened because we had three days to shoot and there was just no time for it. I'm also like, how do you shoot a whole movie in three days? It, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really remember those three days, actually. Um, but I do think like the actress hat and the producer hat are so different that I just feel yeah. like it would have been a disaster. Um, and we were really lucky to have you. So it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> How about you ask me? Did you, did you do the play? No. No. Okay. Never, um, I've seen the play a ton. And I actually almost played Karen when uh, there was an actress in the first LA production that I think had some sort of family emergency or something. And I was going to step in. And then they ended up just like canceling the whole weekend. So. Sam and I have like a long running joke about how I, <laughs> like one day, <laughs> Sam one. has played multiple characters in this though. Um, so cool. yeah, I think there's been like 30 or so productions. So it's like, we've seen it a lot of different ways, but it's, it's fun with the film cast. Um, Cause I keep well, that's just like one iteration then if there's been so many, it's like, yeah, oh, but it's yeah. Cause now you guys are sort of like, the permanent representation of it since it you know lives forever in a way so it's kind of cool um because you're you know you're all so great and it's fun and i i've been telling people that a lot of people watch it and think it's a documentary 
which I think is a really good compliment. Interesting. To guys. Yeah. Oh, like it was like an actual thing that happened mm -hmm. and it yeah. wasn't rehearsed. No, that just went so cool. Go up and just read these letters in that we all wrote clearly because they're totally. so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just you just wrote that yourself. I was like, I can't, I cannot tell people that it's a documentary because then some of the, especially like some of the more outlandish monologues, I'm like, no, I don't want anyone to think that that was actually like Dawn threatening to murder someone. That would be inappropriate. So. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so my next question is what you've been doing to stay sane during the quarantine times. Um, okay. I I have a dog. He is in his crate, so he doesn't make noise right now. But I keep saying if I don't have if I didn't have him, I would not be a sane person. Yeah. Um yeah. I live alone. So I would be talking to the walls instead yeah. of have a dog to talk to and like I will just force him to cuddle me. Uh, be like, come very here. Cute I need dog too. He's, He's a very cute dog. Cute dog. Um, so my dog keeps me sane. Uh, I personally am someone who is not used to spending a lot of time in my home and kind of doesn't love it. I'm yeah. learning to love it. Um, but uh, I have been getting outside. Uh, I try to get outside every day, whether it's just like, I'm gonna go on a walk. Uh, with a mask, I'm gonna go on a run. Yeah. Uh, I just am gonna go find a place to put a blanket down and sit by, a, you know, in a park and read a book. Um, but yes, going outside keeps me sane, seeing the sunlight uh, <laughs> instead of sitting inside all day. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm someone who also like, I am the textbook definition of extrovert. Yeah. And that's really hard. Yeah. Um, my phone keeps dimming. Might need to, I don't know. Um, and so because of that, I've been really trying to connect with friends on Zoom and yeah. in whatever ways I can. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, it, it works. I have, I have friend groups that I do movie nights with and game nights with, and um, they keep me sane. <laughs> but it, it certainly is different not yeah. being able to hug them. Yeah, I, it's funny that I think the extrovert thing, I'm the same way. And I, it's, some people are like kind of content, like with like, okay, I'm home and I fill out. It's like, I'm like, I can't. <laughs> oh no, well, it's like, I have friends who like, even in normal times, real life, are like, oh no, no, I'm gonna go home and read a book. Mm -hmm. Because like that is, they need that time away from, or they go to the party, they say hi and they're done. Mm -hmm. And they need to like go home and read Oh, Fredlin. Oh, there you oh, go. No. Hi. Hi. Am <laughs> I back? The internet. Yeah, you're here. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, good. Um, so I, um, oh, I have friends who are introverts who need to go home, recharge, read their yeah. book, be quiet. Yeah. And I am the opposite of that. I'm, I'm, yeah. when I'm like, I need to go home for an hour to get back outside. Just yes, to like come yeah. home, do the things to go. Cause I recharge around people. Yeah. So At least the walking is good. Like getting outside is good. The first like mm -hmm. month we were like, not even going out walking. And then it was like, okay, <laughs> to get through this, we're going to need to go outside. <laughs> like there's yeah. just some of it is like figuring out what's sustainable in like a long term situation because I think you know obviously none of us could have anticipated still being in this in August <laughs> yeah well and also you know at the beginning it was even like before masks were wear your mask uh yes wear your mask um but before that was known to be like oh it's safe er if you have your mask on right. but yeah it was just like stay inside that's all you can do yeah yeah it's it has been Crazy. Have you been able to do anything with acting or have you been auditioning at all with stuff going on? I have had some auditions. They're all self tapes. Uh, it's fine yeah. uh, by me. And I do them. And I've done a couple like Zoom reads. Uh, I'm really into theater. Uh, yeah. Before the pandemic, I was very active in LA theater. And so, um, you know, there are playwrights I know or theater companies I'm involved with. So they are still having 
whether it's public or not, or just like internal reads, which is nice to just kind say some up. words, yeah. keep up with it. Um, and then I also run a business where I help people, you know, um, You're like a professional people. self tape. Maker. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like a professional self tape friend. Right. <laughs> um, and so I've been working with clients a lot because everything's oh, really? tape now and they all yep. need me, uh, which I just enjoy as well. That's yeah. great. It's nice yeah. to keep up with. I mean, it's, it's weird, like what almost like picks up because of this and then what kind of goes to it. We've had the same experience with the movie. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we were supposed to release in May and I'm really glad we didn't because it was just, I think there was so much just tension at that point that there you couldn't do anything it's, and it's like almost awkward to be promoting something in the middle of so much going on and so I'm glad we waited but it's been interesting that like there's been some stuff that's been way harder and then some things that have been easier just because there's not as much coming out right now so it's there's like a little bit more interest in in yeah. small things and um and also in like kind of a live uh, like a filmed theater since nobody's really going to theater this year it's like oh here's a way you could do this um yeah. on a low budget and um so it's been kind of an interesting experience. In theater. yeah i know <laughs> i was just looking at like um in ventura they're doing like concerts in your car it's like a drive-in movie theater but then you go to a concert I had a friend who just went to the Rose Bowl and they did yeah. a drag show there. Oh, nice. But if you were in your car, but yeah. the, they were doing the drag show. So I guess it's coming back in some ways. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, this is like there, it's like a full, I think like Third Eye Blind was there the other week and they do like a full like 360 stage and the, the it's like same as a movie, like your FM radio just plays the sound. And I mean, it's it's nice to see like the resilience going on, even if it's like a hard time. It's like, oh, yeah. people still will like make stuff happen. It's beautiful um oh what's my next question for you oh do you have a piece of advice for other women in film um yes do it even if you don't think you're ready okay I like that because I think there is some statistic and I'm gonna mess it up but it's like a man needs to know 40 percent of something to be like I can do this and a woman feels like they need to know 90 percent yeah yeah and I think if we just are like, oh no, I have 40% of the skills to do this. I can learn the rest and we yeah. just go for it and say we can do it or like pitch ourselves in that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, the best way to learn anything is to do it too. So it's like, especially now, because like you look at like TikTok, I've been doing so much stuff with TikTok for this like promotion. It's like, but people, these kids, I'm, I'm old. I don't do TikTok. <laughs> Well, we're not old, <laughs> number one. But the thing that's cool about it is that these this generation that is like the age that uses it, they're so talented. It's like they just innately know how to edit stuff and they have like this it's comic so, timing. Yeah. And like, I'm like, uh, wait, did you go to film school? They're like 14. So it's really they, cool that that stuff exists. Yeah, they just grew up on their phones. Right. So they, they like innately know how to do that. And I'm like, well, filter. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> How do I add text to this? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I try. I try really hard. I'm like, I want to stay like present with it, but then you do. You get on, and you're like, oh, I need to stop. <laughs> like, I just should chill. Um, oh, is there something you've seen like during quarantine that you really liked? A movie or a TV show? Um. Yes. So I've been doing one of my like Zoom nights with friends is where, well, they're big film buffs and I'm like learning and I like film, especially like old classic movies. And so we are going through every week and via Zoom and televisions and so many devices, we watch all of the Academy Award winning movies. Nice. So we have 30 left now, guys. Wow. Out of all of them. <laughs> How many and are there? Some that are not, they don't stand up. Huh? How many are there? Oh, well, 90 seven. something. Wow. I mean, we started having seen some and like, you know, we each have different okay, knowledge so in decades. Like yeah. What yeah. percentage do you think hold up as like that should have won? Very few. Um, <laughs> I always think that it's like, is that mm -hmm. the right movie for that year? <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Yes. So, but anyways, there's some that I've seen that like I watched for the first time. Okay. So based on the play, but you can't take it with you. I had never seen. And all of us, like it is up there. First off, it stands up. It's ahead of its time uh, in terms of like its own political undertones. Right. It's just so well performed and it just makes you love it. And yeah, that one stands up and I had never seen it. Um, I and I'm going to watch it now. Yeah. I watched Citizen Kane for the first time, you know. I actually think that stands up. Yeah, uh, that's a good movie. Yeah, that's a great movie. Um, but yes, I've, I I have a, a vast film knowledge now. That's awesome. Which is great. Yeah, I guess it's just fun. It's fun to do it with someone too. Yeah, that's not nice. in person. How do you but... watch them? Is it like you do you do Zoom or? Uh, we Zoom. Okay. We Zoom, and then we'll each either have the DVD, rent it on Amazon, whatever it is, and we'll make sure we're all queued up to like the same frame to start it. And yeah, I tried to do that one night with a friend and we were like just that hair of a second off and it, so it was just like but then I heard about um Amazon has like watch party now and Netflix has one so I'm like I want to try one of those that's like where you can yeah. actually be synced because we were trying to do it with cats and it was like it was just one little blip off so the music was all like it was amazing. oh well okay so we actually we do mute ourselves so that's oh different. interesting so we'll do like three two one go press play at the same time starting the same second but we're muted okay. so while we're watching we chat oh. on zoom but you can still see each other's face so like you can especially if it's a musical you can be singing along to the songs together um <laughs> or you can like you know, still give each other looks like, did they just say that? Really? Great. Or like, you know, well, in the chat, we'll go off, especially the misogyny in old movies is horrible. Right. So right. me and my friend will just go off on it all the time. Awesome. Chat. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll chat and then afterwards we'll unmute ourselves and talk about it. I love it. That's very smart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. Um, okay, so this, maybe one of these is your favorite movie. What is your favorite movie of all time? That's so hard. Uh, it is, question. but I do have a few. Okay. You can have more than one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. So yes, old movies. Casablanca, I will watch anytime, any day, anywhere. And it is, I can quote it. It's like that one. If I had to choose one, it would be Casablanca. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Princess Bride. Oh. Always, also. Um, Oh, uh, Shakespeare in Love. Uh, <laughs> I watched that so much shit for that one, yes. Oh, and I was like, oh, it's so good. I have forgotten. Yeah. Well, that's Shakespeare. I think that's why I also like it. Like, it's the history. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those three definitely come to mind. Okay. I, I like all of those, so. Yeah. And then I'm sure now if I, like, went back and was like, let's make a list again, new movies I've seen would come back in. Also, oh, go watch Marty. That was another one that uh, I think it was like 1950 something it won the Academy Award. I don't know all the years. It's so lovely. That's one. I feel like favorite movies to me are movies I will turn on whenever I want to watch something and yeah. I can't watch over and over again. Not just that yeah. they're like amazing. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that. Um, all right. So do you have anything else that you're working on that you want to promote or do you want to talk about your audition friend or anything else you want to um I mean I feel like right now there's nothing that I'm working on because we're all in quarantine <laughs> uh what are you looking forward to working on when this is all over? I'm working I'm so looking forward to getting back to theater I'm such a theater nerd in that I see theater uh like I'll see at least one show a week if not more um in LA so like I miss just the joy of going to the theater even if I'm not in something yeah uh so i'm just looking forward to going back to that also being back on stage uh and then um in terms of what i'm working on uh yeah your audition friend that's so laura knows but what it is is it's a self-tape business for like audition prep so it doesn't have to be a self-tape. If you were going in the room, we could still work together. But uh, generally, when you get a self-tape, you need a reader. And you need someone to press record. Although now you can press record by yourself and we'll just read on Zoom. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just to have that person there who can read with you. 
who can, you know, give you someone to actually play off of without taking any attention away because there is a fine line. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also, so you don't have to beg friends for favors when they don't have time or they only have 15 minutes and then you're like, I have to get my best taken in 15 minutes and then you don't. Um, so it just well, it makes that such a big difference to have an actor. Yes, yes, yeah. have an actor versus your like partner or your parent. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, I've done it with my parents once and I will never do it again. No, that, no way. No. <laughs> um, yeah, and also just someone to like bad ideas off of. Like, I don't, I actually don't call myself a coach. People are like, you're coaching business. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> um, but, but I will, you know, if someone asks for suggestions or if I notice something and they're open to hearing it, like I certainly don't have to give you any notes. Um, I will, I will give notes. And then it's just someone else to be like, is this thing working? Or like, I don't know how to end this. Is there a button you can think of? Like yeah. just something simple like that to really like make the tape just pop. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm really good at doing them on Zoom even. So yeah. like, it's great. I've learned like all these things. It's like, okay, so can you, can you like tilt the computer down a little so I can see both the frame and you? So I yeah, I'm like, you still have to press record for me, but like, I can at least be like, oh, we have a half step here. Or, wow. you know, can you put the computer up on like a shoe box so your eye line is right? Like, yeah, all these little- We've definitely done like stacks of like books. books. Like, oh, we just need that encyclopedia. Like the one tall book that we mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just so funny. Yep, yep. I'm very That's good at like- I mean, you have like the perfect thing for right now because I'm sure a lot of people need, I know that like, the self tape thing right now is well that's yes self tapes are huge uh the thing is though it's probably gonna move i mean it's been sort of like moving in that direction for a while now it's almost good i think for like the initial auditions that it kind of turns into more of a yeah yeah i mean i feel like it's also might even because i know they're starting like the actors access live one where it's just like they're gonna turn everything into like a zoom audition right um, where it's like, you were the casting director, I'm me, yeah. and now we're auditioning together. So yeah. it's still live, because I do think there is something to, I mean, I love self-takes, because you have control, right. and you have as many takes as you want, and you can get it right. right. But there is something to, to me control. reading off you, and you being able to give me notes in real time of like, actually, they want it, they want the pace up, which is yeah. something you may not know yeah. if you don't get that note. Yeah. Or, you know, or, oh, they, no, they, the director doesn't like you to do anything. Can you just, just say the lines? They like, <laughs> don't want to see you acting. Sometimes you get those notes of like, yeah. really do less. <laughs> um, and you're not sure. Because yeah. when you get material, you don't always know the tone. Yeah. 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 I didn't know they were doing that. That's really cool, though. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I hope. Not the idea of like not. <laughs> always having to drive. Because well, I love the idea, because even that, then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to take the recording, cut it together, make yeah. sure, like, maybe cuts with the lighting and the sound, right. then upload it and send it up. Like, there's still so many steps after you do the tape. Yeah. So, like, even that, I'm like, oh, that would be so simple, because it's like an audition, you just don't leave your home. Yeah. And then at least you feel like you, like, made an impression and you know that they saw you, where I know a lot of people feel like with self-tapes that they're, like, sending it into the ether, and it's like, I don't know if they're even... Yes, too. I, uh, of all the casting directors I've talked to or have gone to, like, casting director talks of, they watch every requested self-tape. Sure, yeah. They may not watch it to the end, right? but they yeah. will watch it. Yeah. 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 And all the casting directors are like, no, every tape I request, I watch. Some were <laughs> like, I watch till the end. Some were <laughs> like, I will watch the first, like, 10 seconds to a minute, and if it's not what I want, I'm not going to keep watching yeah, you can tell a lot, though, in those first couple seconds. Yeah. With, well, know. I'm sure you even, because you did, you helped with, you did, you helped I did, with, I I did, did all the cast. Yeah, and actually, yeah. I, I hate auditions in general, and so I have a hard time watching tapes anyway. So yeah, with all, all of you, I think I probably watched 30 seconds and then was like, oh yeah, I mean, but I also, I would say like 60% of you I knew in some capacity. Like I, with you, it's like, I knew that you're, talented and I've known you for years so it was like okay <laughs> she's fine for this this yeah. is perfect like <laughs> easy so that was but, yeah I just yeah. hate I can't even I get like nervous for people when I watch their tapes so I'm like okay that's good
But even like, because um, Sam and I just did another uh, little voiceover short and we cast two actors um, and I did it on Actors Access. And I pretty much, I mean, I didn't cast it from the slate shots, but like I picked who to call in from the slate shots because it's so, it's so quick and easy. And it like, I mean, if somebody doesn't have that, you kind of just don't, especially if you get like a thousand submissions, which I think because, you know, there's exactly. nothing going on, we got a ton. Um, but it was like, if they didn't have that, I just didn't have time to look. But if they mm -hmm. had, you know, especially because I'm hearing their voice and stuff, just to have that like quick little thing. And some of them are really fun. Like the guy we cast had this hilarious, like, he was like, I can play any age from 49 to death. And he just said it in this like perfect. And I was like, oh, he's great. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can just tell. But I think it's also amazing what you can get from a person even within those 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this energy thing too. And yeah. Exactly. And that's why, you know, some people, especially people I work with who are like newer, um, you know, stress out about having footage or good footage. And like, yes, you want to have good footage. But if you can't, especially now, because like nothing's shooting, you're not going to be able to get the footage, do a slate shot. Yeah. You know? have a slate shot up there, do a self tape that's like a minute of just some sides, because you can, as a casting director, get so much of just like, oh, this is this person's energy. Oh, they're not like crazy and weird. Or, oh, they have this weird <laughs> look that I kind of really like. Like, yeah. you It's know. also amazing how quickly in the slate shots you can pick up on who is crazy and weird too. <laughs> I mean, that is like, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> that's, that's what you shared. <laughs> I, I see it, so <laughs> cool. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Uh, well, thank you for coming on and chatting yeah. with me. I'm yeah. really excited that the movie comes out next week. And I can't believe finally. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. How me many too. years ago was it? Uh, so our Kickstarter would be four years ago this, I think, this week. Um, and I just mailed everything out the other day. And it was such a great feeling of, like, free. <laughs> like. I feel like all these people forgot. They're like, all right, I donated money to that. Thing. No, people did not forget. <laughs> oh, they did it. Oh, they were waiting. <laughs> yeah, no, people have been really supportive. I mean, they're excited. And, you know, we knew, we don't, we didn't know everyone. I would say it was like maybe 60% of what's people that we knew. But um, no, people have been great. And, and they were like excited to see it and stuff. So that's fun. It's nice to like send out, you know, because you stress about like promoting it. But then you realize you're already sending out 200 DVDs. And it's like, Oh, yeah, people already bought this. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. So it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. My it's parents like, are excited. Let's oh, put it good. that way. They're like, when can we get that movie you were in? Oh, I love that. Oh, I hope they enjoy it. Yeah. It's been fun. And we we're like, super grateful to have you. And it was nice to get to actually see you in person in February. And get to watch the movie. I know. <laughs> no, I'm so glad like that we had a couple little things at the beginning of the year just to like mm -hmm. have that. <laughs> yeah and then you had like online festivals right or you had in-person festivals even before. We did have our like oh, yeah. festival premiere essentially at Hollywood and Highland so we were able to do that which was kind of the big thing anyway um and then everything else has been either we don't really know they're either going to move stuff online or they're going to move it to next year or mm -hmm. It's kind of, yeah. Wait, it had a couple more festivals. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, just weren't able to happen. And right? then there were there are other ones that like they never even you know announced selections because they just moved the whole festival or they canceled for the year. So it was just a crazy like you know weird yeah. timing of everything. I know. But I'm like I don't know what I'm allowed to say, so I'm just gonna let Laura. <laughs> No, you're good. It's fine. Um, we're not. No one cares. <laughs> it's not big enough. But I know I was talking to um, Alex. Did you meet Alexandra Boylan when you were? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I met her on set, but I know her from. I feel like you guys actually were one and two. Like, were we right after each day. other? Yeah. Yeah. But she was at the. Um, the, I, the premiere, And I think I've met her through like another event with you too. Oh, it probably is in the biz thing. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yes. You, you were at the At Your Own Risk premiere. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's her movie too. But she um, is just about to finish a movie that they're shooting in Georgia. Um, and they had like a COVID officer and they did Amazing. it through SAG and they like had a rapid testing kit. I mean, it was like, she was talking, we did a live a couple weeks ago and I was like, 
I don't even know if you should be telling me this right now, but it's like super interesting. So I want to hear more. But yeah, they they're they've done an amazing job. They haven't that's had great. Any like, she have to quarantine? They all are like on the same location, and they all had to fly there, and then they quarantined, and then they have they have to test everybody. I want to say every couple of days or something, and it it was fascinating. You can watch it on the um, her yeah, interview, but yeah, it's it was really interesting, and I'm I just think it's like. Wow, more power to anybody that was like able to get like all of the right equipment to do it the way that you you know that we have to do it. So it's cool to yeah, see. Yeah, and like get it together and be yeah. safe. They had the right script for it too. Like it was something they were already planning on doing and it was like a family, you know. So it's already closed. Same group of people. Um, and they, they do a really great, she's awesome. They've done so great movies. So I'm sure it'll be amazing. But I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> you are very impressive right now, girl. So impressive yeah crazy but I'm also like, I'm, I'm at home, home. like <laughs> I'm I was like just excited like to hear that somebody was doing something because it makes me feel like positive about moving forward and stuff for everybody else so I hope all that yeah. stuff goes one well day. Yeah. one day yeah we'll get yeah. back to it it'll be fine yeah actually I think also that Ventura thing is doing I think there's a theater company that's working with them that's doing like some live theater stuff so people are trying to like figure out yeah I know there are a couple outdoor theater companies that are, you know, able to do stuff, do stuff in the country. I'm like, not here, but elsewhere. We should all probably be just moving <laughs> just to the, to the woods. <laughs> I like LA. I love here. This is home. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, all right. Well, thank you so much. It's really good thank to see you. Thank you. I'm so excited for it to come out. And then my parents can watch it. <laughs> You have to tell me what your parents think. <laughs> oh, they're going to love it. They, yeah. My mom, every time, she's like, you did such a good job. I forgot you were my daughter. And I was oh, like, oh, so but that's like her best compliment. That's really sweet. It's good mom. Sweet. Good mom. mom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, girl. Um, I can't wait till we're out of this and I can see you and hug you in person. Yes. yes. You must yeah. drinks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, have a great night. Bye.